Hello everyone, welcome to a new video from Tecosa. Do you know how we can see the objects around us and how can we see these colors? Oh oh, so what made me visible was light. So light is a phenomenon that makes things visible or it just illuminate things, right? But did you know that there is light that you can see and there is light that you cannot see? Actually, what is light? Let me explain. Light comes from different things called light sources that can be natural and artificial. Our ultimate natural light source is sun. Other natural light source includes fire, stars, lightning. Artificial light source includes light bulbs, projectors, torches and so on. So how can we see things with light? This is because of the property of light called reflection. When light hits an object, it absorbs some of it and throws back the remaining. The remaining light is called reflected light. When the reflected light falls on our eyes, we will be able to see the objects. Some objects reflect more light than other objects. Rough objects like wooden stone reflect less light than smooth objects like metallic surfaces. The moon shines because its surface reflects light from the sun and it cannot make light on its own. Mirror reflect almost 100% of the light falling on it, which is why we can see ourselves in the mirror. Objects like clear plain glass allow light to pass through it. This is why we can see through glass. So what if there is no light? The absence of light produces shadow. Shadows are created when an opaque object blocks the light source. Shadows change depending on the distance of the object is from the light source and the position of the light source. Light appears to travel in a straight line traveling from the light source until it hits the surface of an object. So we know that we see objects because of light. But why these objects have colors? Well, the light that we see contains seven colors such as violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. When these lights fall on an object, it absorbs some of these colors and reflects the other colors. The reflected colors are what causes the actual color of an object. Think of an apple. When light hits an apple, it absorbs all other colors and reflects the red color. This red color will then fall on our eyes. This is why apple seems to be in red color. Did you know that there is light that we cannot see? Normally when we speak about light, we only think about the light that we can see. But in reality, the light that we see is just a small portion of the entire spectrum of light. Our sun emits a very strong intense light or radiation called electromagnetic radiation. This radiation is called electromagnetic because it contains both electric and magnetic properties. These electromagnetic radiations are of seven waves which forms the electromagnetic spectrum. They are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, UV rays, X-rays and gamma rays. In this seven radiation, visible light lies in the middle of the spectrum which a naked eyes can detect and is called the visible spectrum. And this is the light that we can see and we cannot see the other six type of lights. Waves in the electromagnetic spectrum varies in size from the very long radio waves to the very short gamma rays and each waves have its own applications radio waves so radio waves are used for broadcasting tv and radio signals because they can cover a greater distance because of their large wavelength then we have microwaves which are used in appliances like the microwave ovens and are also used in telecommunications like mobile networks, Bluetooth and wireless LAN protocols. Coming to infrared, they are in the medical field for heat therapies to relieve aches and pains and also used in the food industry for cooking. Visible light. We concentrate visible light to make lasers to use in everything from surgery to laser pointers. Visible light waves also makes our TV, computer and smartphone screen works. Ultraviolet radiations are used in different aspects of our life. 
They are used in medical industries for sterilization and water purification to remove bacteria, used in dentistry, banks, etc. X-rays. As we all know, X-rays are used in medical industries for examining the state of a bone or foreign objects in our body and also used in airport security to scan luggages. Now, gamma radiations. They are used to kill cancer cells for medical and for security scannings and also used for astronomical observations. Okay, so radio waves to visible light are considered to be low energy radiations which are safe even after prolonged use and UV rays to gamma rays are considered to be high energy radiations which are dangerous to our skin. Most of the radiations even though naturally available, they are generated artificially using various sources and techniques. As these radiations come from the sun, the ozone layer blocks out most of the harmful radiations that approaches the earth. Light moves at the fastest known speed in the universe. Nothing moves faster than or even close to the speed of light. In a vacuum, where there is nothing to slow it down, light travels 3 lakhs kilometers in a second. When light travels to matters like air or water, it slowed down some, but still it is pretty fast. But what's really fascinating is that, even though light is the fastest thing in the universe, it still takes millions of years for the light from some stars to reach us. This means that when you look at really far away stars, you are actually looking at the star which were there millions of years ago. Just imagine how big the universe is. Up till now, you have seen the things that light can do. But what is light made up of? We know that everything that we see is made up of atoms. Light is made up of small packets of energy called photons. The strength of light depends on the amount of energy each photon contains. What makes light special is that it behaves both like a wave and a particle. Even though the light is made up of particles, these particles are, do not have mass. So light is actually a form of energy, not a matter. Did you know that light helps us to survive? Without sunlight, our world would be a dead dark place. Sunlight does more than just help us see. Sunlight keeps the earth warm. So it's not just a frozen ball in outer space. It also is a major component in photosynthesis which is how most of the plant life on earth grows and get nutrients. Sunlight is a source of energy as well as a source of vitamin D for humans. So that's it for today's session. Hope you learned something new. So see you all in the next session with a new topic how does camera works. So see you all in the next session. Till then bye bye.